What's up guys, Shane Starks here and Google's all new Pixel 6a seems to be yet another affordable yet reliable smartphone that brings plenty of pixel magic but is it worth the $449 price tag? We're gonna find out in this video. Let's go ahead and get started. This video is sponsored by Basics Beyond. Basics Beyond focuses on revolutionary fabric plus design to make sure their products perform at their best. They sent over a few of their durable water repellent t-shirts for me to try out. I was a little skeptical at first. These are 100% cotton t-shirts. Not only were these able to propel water, but even a soda spill or a coffee spill was no match for these t-shirts. I even let the kids soak me down with ketchup and mustard, and even those oily, greasy stains were able to come right out of this t-shirt. These shirts have a special treatment which modifies the surface tension properties of the fabric as synthetic coatings so that they repel most liquid stains and oil, and they do an excellent job. If the water and stain repellent properties weren't enough, these are 100% cotton, extremely soft with a relaxed fit that's tailored to your body's shape. Also really enjoyed the unique packaging. It just made it feel like I was opening a premium product. Overall, I love these Basic Beyond's durable water repellent t-shirts. I'll be sure to include links in the description of where you can grab yours today. So when we're talking about this sub $500 price point, I think there's one thing that you really need to consider, and that's the fact that the Pixel 6a has the same flagship processor, the Tensor processor, as the flagship Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro. What does that mean? That means that this phone is going to be reliable for years to come. In fact, we'll receive three years of Android version updates, as well as five years of security updates on this phone. So even though it's under $500, this phone is built to last for quite some time. And also with this flagship processor, you're gonna have a phone that holds up over time. So with a lot of phones in this price range, after the first six months or so, you really notice a drop off in performance. Think Galaxy A series and those kind of phones. Usually after a few months, the phones begin to lag and slow down quite a bit. You're not gonna get that with the Tensor processor on the Pixel 6a. Not only do you get a faster, more responsive phone with that Tensor chip, but this also means that you get some of the other AI features like Magic Eraser, like the True Tone when you're taking photographs of people, and you'll even get one of my favorite features, which is the Live Translate. You can literally go into applications like Instagram or TikTok and watch videos from another language and have the transcribe translate it for you in real time. Another standout feature here has to be the incredible battery life. This is the best battery life I've had on a phone in a very long time. Usually with a full day's use, and with me using my phone all the time, I'm able to still get through an entire day with right at 50% left on my phone. Most people are gonna be able to get a full day plus a half day, some people will be able to get two days of battery life with the Pixel 6a. So that's thanks to a more efficient chipset, that's thanks to a 1080p smaller display, and that's thanks to the 60 hertz instead of the 120 hertz refresh rate that you get on the Pixel 6 Pro. The Pixel 6a features a large 4,410 milliamp hour battery, which also helps to extend the battery life of this phone. If for some reason you're able to drain this thing before the end of the day, probably means that you have max brightness on your phone, you're playing like some really intensive games or something like that. Uh, you do have 18 watt fast charging. So you're gonna be able to top this off pretty quickly with an 18 watt fast charging. Of course, as expected, the camera experience is second to none, especially at this price range. So you get two lenses here, a 12.2 megapixel main shooter, plus a 12 megapixel ultra wide. We don't have a telephoto zoom lens like we do on the Pixel 6 Pro, but you're still gonna get really great shots in all lighting conditions. I even took a shot side by side with an iPhone 13 Pro Max, and the Pixel 6a turned out better in this low light situation, which I think Think says a lot for the power of the camera on the Pixel 6a. With the Pixel phones, it's not all about the hardware, it's more about the software and how Google processes the images. And I believe that in this case, the Pixel 6a does an incredible job of processing images and you're gonna have really good shots out of this camera. With the 6.1 inch display, this phone is a bit smaller than what I'm used to coming from the Galaxy S22 Ultra, but I actually like the way the phone feels in the hand. It's super light and super compact, and I really like this plastic back here. It kind of feels more like glass, but it definitely makes the phone feel light in the hand. The metal rim all the way around the phone still makes it feel like 
like a premium phone. The speakers on this phone sound pretty good and this does come with an IP67 water and dust resistance rating. That's good for one meter of submersion for up to 30 minutes, which is slightly less than what you get with the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro, which have an IP68 rating. They're good for 1.5 meters at half an hour. One thing that I would have loved to have seen here would have been wireless charging. I don't hate the 60 hertz display for me. That's helping save some battery life. And once you get used to it, it's not a big issue. I know a big issue was made with the 60 hertz, but it's not a pain point for me at this price point. Overall, this is a super reliable, fast and snappy phone with great battery life and a great camera for under $500. This will be the phone that I recommend at the price point going forward. That about wraps it up for this video. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.